My name is Francis Charret. I'm a forestry engineer and lead researcher at FP Innovations. I'm in charge of coordinating the Forestry 4.0 project. Truck platooning is a kind of collaborative transportation system where you have a convoy of trucks, so two or three trucks, that are guided electronically by a system that maintains the distance between the trucks. It also controls acceleration and braking with a reaction time that's even faster than the drivers themselves. The technology wasn't developed in a forestry setting. The conditions are different. We have gravel roads and different types of trailers with more vibration. So it's important to make sure that the technology reacts properly to that different environment. The forestry industry is interested in truck platooning because at present we have a shortage of labor in forestry operations, hauling and harvesting. We think this new technology can also allow us to attract the next generations of workers in the job market and get them interested in forestry. That would remediate the labor shortage we're seeing now. Jonathan Perron, forestry engineer, director of forestry operations for Resolute Forest Products in Maurice. One of the benefits we're seeing in platooning is that it makes it mentally easier for the drivers of escort trucks, and we think that could be beneficial in terms of safety on forest roads. My name is uh, David Beverly. I am the McNair Professor of Mechanical Engineering at Auburn University, where I direct the uh, GPS and Vehicle Dynamics Lab, we call the CAB Lab. Well, in our truck platooning system, we use a variety of sensors that we integrate together to ensure the safety of the system. One of the sensors that uh, it's based on is a radar here. Uh, you can see the radar in the front of the truck, and it's measuring the distance to the truck in front of it. We also have a uh, multitude of sensors in the vehicle, such as wheel speed and GPS, uh, GPS antenna on top, and engine torque data. And that information is communicated to the other vehicle with the DSRC radios. And you can see the DSRC radio links uh, antennas here on the outside of the vehicle. And so they're on both vehicles, and so that data information is communicated with the vehicles, between the vehicles, in conjunction with the radar that I showed earlier, to provide a very safe following distance for our platooning system. Platooning has the potential to be extremely safe, in fact, uh, eventually to be safer than humans. Uh, the systems that we have running on these trucks that I mentioned earlier, uh, they don't get tired, they don't get distracted. And so we really see platooning as not only a, a provide a benefit in terms of fuel savings and fuel benefits, um, but also to provide improved safety for these systems and for these drivers. Uh, they allow for automatic braking and uh, maintain gap spacing through a variety of circumstances. The next step, depending on the results we get, will allow us to plan the development of the technology and will allow us to do more testing right up to the point where we can implement the technology in the Canadian forestry sector. Ultimately, if future development validates the safety aspect of the technology, we could envision just one driver operating the truck platoon. <laughs>